Hello everyone, I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and in this tips and tricks video, we're going to learn how to design using ink stitch, but with two colors. So let's get started. Now I've already brought my image into Inkscape, and I have trace bitmapped it already. So now I'm going to go up to the extension menu, click on it. I'm going to click on ink stitch, and I'm going to click on simulate. A window will open and you'll notice that your design begins to start simulating what it'll look like as an embroidery file. Now everything looks good to go, except we're going to change this into different colors. So I'm going to exit out of this window and you have an option here. You can actually go to path, break your items apart. Now here is where you can actually select Let's zoom in. You can select your different shapes. You can see there's a bunch of different shapes here. I'm going to click away and I'm just going to click this one here and I'm going to just add a fill to it. I'm going to go down to the bottom. I'm going to add yellow. Then I'm going to click another shape here and hit yellow again. And I'm going to make these all the same color. You know what? For the wings, we're going to do a fill and we're going to just do it white. Technically, you get about three colors, but that's okay. Okay, so it looks good. I'm just going to now draw a box around all my objects and I want to group those together. Perfect. So now when we go to extensions, we're going to go to ink stitch and try simulate again. Now let's see what happens. Okay, this window up here, I'm going to increase the speed so we can just zoom up a little bit. So you're going to have an underlaying here. And then over top is going to be your other colors. So now you've done the underlay and the top. Now there is a way to change this too if you don't want the underlay of it. So I'm just going to exit out and I'm going to ungroup my objects again. Now but this time I'm going to click on it and then click on my object and then hit uh, path and then difference. Now I'm going to do that with each shape here. Path and then difference. Let's repeat that also for the yellow areas. You're going to see it change color though when I do this. So now it's starting to go white. And the reason is it's because it's starting to cookie cutter it out of your object and it does, it's now taking that away from the actual design. So again, I'm going to hit difference. So I've got my object. But first, I want to do a double. So I'm going to make a copy of this. So I'm going to right click and hit duplicate. And I'm going to hit path and I'm going to hit break apart. Now this is where I'm going to take these shapes and I'm actually going to change the fill on them. So I'm going to go over to my fill or we can go down here and just click on these. And then we're going to click and drag them over top. Same thing. We're going to click. I'm going to hold down shift for all of these ones because we're just going to do multiples for a second. I want these ones to all be the same color yellow, but I'm going to click and then drag them on top of this piece. So now we don't need this one, so we can delete it. And then I'm gonna draw a square around my, all my objects and I'm gonna group them together. So everything should be okay. So let's go to extensions and hit ink stitch. And then we're gonna hit simulate. So again, I'm just gonna take a second. It does give you the error. Sometimes there's um, shapes are not valid. This can happen when borders are crossing itself. So go to extensions, ink stitch, and we're going to do troubleshoot. Now, sometimes they pop up really quickly. Sometimes they don't. It could be something really as simple as in just finding out what object is getting crossed. So I'm clicking on edit path tool. See that there is a node around here and it, it could be just the one. I'm just going to delete it. Okay. Let's go to extensions and hit ink stitch. And then we're gonna hit simulate. Okay, so we're still doing our simulation here. And now you can see all of our colors have been added in. Sometimes you'll have to group it and then sometimes you have to ungroup it. It depends on what's going on with the program. It's still fairly new. So when we're doing that, just keep that in mind. So again, we're going to go to extensions. And finally, we're going to go to ink stitch and then we're going to go to embroider. Click apply. Okay. Close your window. 
and then you can see that your item is being embroidered now. So it will be in still different shapes, but that's one way that you can get different colors into it. So there's two ways. You can either just fill in the gaps with the, your color you want, or you can make two sep uh, you can make separate shapes and then overlap them. So finally, now that we're ready to save our B patch, uh, we're just going to go to file. We're gonna click save as. I'm gonna click type in B, and then we're gonna save it actually as not an ink seed file, but we're gonna save it in a, as a DST file, and this is an embroider file. And then hit save. It'll take a second. And now you've learned how to create some embroidery designs using two different colors or even three different colors. So once again, I'm Rachel from the Innisfil Idea Lab and Library, and that's this week's tips and tricks. Thank you, and take care.